This is a COA question based upon cash organization. We have WB and WT as the two set associative cash organizations using LRU algorithm for the block replacement. WB stands for the right back cash and WT stands for the right through cash. Now out of these four, we need to determine which of the statements is or are false. It is an MSQ type question. First of all, let us understand the difference and the need of these right through and the right back cash. Basically, what happens is that whenever we want to write to any address, first we go and check in the cache if that address is present or not. If it is already present, then we can avoid the main memory access, which is expensive. But when it is a multiprocessing system and multiple devices are sharing the main memory at the same time, then this can lead to inconsistency problem because the value present in the cache and in the main memory would be different. So in order to solve this inconsistency problem, we have two solutions, a write back cache and a write through cache. Now the difference between them is that in the write through cache, we update the value simultaneously in both the cache and the main memory at the same time. Whereas in the write back cache, first we update the cache and then at a later stage, we update the main memory. So now based upon this, let us look at the options. Each cache block in the write back cache and the write through cache has a dirty bit. The statement is false because in the write through cache, we were updating both of them at the same time. So there is no dirty bit over here. It is only present in the write back cache. So the statement is actually false and that will be a part of our answer. Every write hit in a write back cache leads to a data transfer from cache to main memory. Actually, not every write hit leads to a data transfer. That occurs only when a particular cache block is evicted and it can take several write hits. All of them would be propagated at the same time in the main memory in a later stage. So again, the statement is false because not every write hit leads to it. The third one says that eviction of a block from a write through cache will not lead to data transfer from cache to main memory. The write operation happens parallelly in both cache as well as main memory in the write, write through cache. So the eviction of a block will not lead to a data transfer. Hence the statement is correct. A read miss in the write back cache will never lead to eviction of a dirty block from the write back cache. Actually a read miss in the write back cache fetches a new block from the main memory and that leads to the eviction of a dirty block. So since they have said will never lead to again, the statement is also false. So the correct answer which we have is A, B and B. All of these three statements are false and that would be reported as the answer.